What's up y'all, it's Jay Elliott with MSX Sound Design. Today we are going to switch it up a little bit and show you how to automate low fly dirt in Cubasis. So let's get right into it. Creating automation for low fly dirt in Cubasis is very simple. I will begin by showing you how to create the automation and then I will give you an example on how automation can be applied to one of your tracks. Here I have a simple drum loop that I have previously created. I will select the channel of this drum loop, go to insert effects and add low fly dirt. I want to add the 404 effect in low fly dirt which is basically a low pass filter that sounds really dope. So let's go ahead and select that and hear what it sounds like. Now the three things we want to focus on in the effects tab is the R, W, and automation button. The automation button is what brings you to your automation window. The W button is what allows you to write slash record your automation. And the R button is what reads slash plays back your automation. Just a quick side note, the record button in the main transport window does not record your automation. You have to use the W button to record your automation because that's what it's specifically designed for. So let's hit our W button and record some automation. Now if we open up our automation window, we can now see the automation that we have recorded. Some other things to note. As you can see on the left hand side, we can select which low fly parameter we want to automate. And if you want your automation to be very precise, you can also draw on the automation manually, like so. You also get additional tools like select, erase, reset all, reduce, and move to help shape your automation even more. So now that you've learned how to create automation, I will now show you a quick example on how you can apply automation to your track. Here's a track that I created. I originally had a nice loop going, but I wanted to add some extra flavor. As you can see here, I've already drawn in my automation, which is being applied to the master channel. Right before the loop ends, I slowly sweep into the low pass filter effect which carries over for the first four bars of the loop and then slowly sweeps back out of the effect. This method is no secret, and you've probably heard it on a ton of tracks, but this is just to spark some inspiration and give you an idea of what you can do with automation using low fly dirt. So that about wraps it up. Hopefully you've learned something from this and from the previous tutorials. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace. Hand me that ox cord.